So I'm going to start right here on the corner. I hope I don't hit any rebar. Try to stay level here, or plum rather. Check it two ways. I think we're still good. Uh oh. I think I just punched through the slab. That's not a bad thing. Okay, cool. This is Epcon A7. 40 bucks a tube at Fastenal. Notice these have a little shoulder on them. Well, actually, they're not a shoulder, but they're cut in so when you pound them, you won't uh, screw up the thread. So, kind of nice, zinc coated or coated with something. Anyway, the guy at Fasten all said these are pretty good fasteners. I was going to buy some red hats, but he says, now nah, those are good, those are fine. So, whatever. Okay, that's one side. Now there's a little more in there. When the plunger gets to that point, it's empty. And we are close to being empty. Okay, cool. 28 millimeter nut. Kind of weird 28 millimeter nut and it's a three quarter inch anchor, so. I'm not even sure I have a 28 millimeter wrench. I probably do. The instructions are a little confusing. They say, don't put the anchors in until you have the top beam installed, but I think what the idea is to have one half of the top beam installed. So then you can position this one and then you put the other half of the top beam in. 
So I'm gonna scoot this. Make sure you your hands. That's coming up. Yeah, that was the trick. That was the trick. And that's pretty close there. All right, I'm gonna call it good. 